I was looking at these over here. I almost missed this one here. Big old horn coral. Big one. Big as my hand. It's a good one there. Giant. Another one. Right? It's a nice one. Right here. One. There's another one stuck in right here. I think it's something to get him out. There's another one right here. He's a little bit smaller. We're just into Indiana from Cincinnati, Ohio at this rock outcrop here. Tons and tons of fossils. This is a great, great place to look for fossils. So that rain brings these cave-ins here, this little collapsing wall, and you can see it just exposes brand new, it's a big one right here. Nice, man, that is, that's a really nice one there. Just all over the place. This little overhang here, it is just full of fossils. They're just everywhere. I was just laying on top. And then these horn coral, they're just sitting here. Nice one. Should clean up nice. Get that matrix off there. So I'm just working this little bank here. And you can see the rain washed some of them down. There's one just laying right here. Pick it right up. Nice horn coral. Little flat.
There's a pretty cool one. I think we got a horn coral up here. Thought I saw it up here somewhere. Let's see where it went here. Get a little lower. Well, there it was. stuck oh it must be pretty big oh it feels big giant horn coral have to clean that off So these are the uh, horn coral that we're used to finding in the area that we live in. So pretty small, fit right in your hand. But then we took a trip over towards Cincinnati and these are the bad boys we found over there. Just great, great specimens. Not really sure whether to try to clean any of that off, but these are these are really nice. We were really excited, my son and my wife. We were just out looking for this stuff. Really nice pieces here. This one's uh, <clears throat> still got some matrix on it. Sorry about that. Got a nice plate here, I guess. Some people call it a plate. If I can find it, I believe there's a trilobite right there in the middle. Just kind of burying down in it. There it is. Yeah, I think that's the very back of one. Pretty sure. But just a great piece here. Look at all these. Looks like sponges. Just crazy. And there is another. If I'm not mistaken. If you guys know what that is for sure. Just uh, comment on it and let me know. I think it's a trilobite. Just loaded. This stuff was all over, as you saw in the videos. All over the place. 
Now some of these, this one was really interesting. Weird little pattern on the inside of it. And these are just laying there. Some of them are just loose. Fossils inside of fossils. This is a really good one here. Nice big ones. <laughs> Look at them all. It's a place just north of St. Leon, Indiana. And there's just a huge, right along the road there, cut in the road and there's a big horn coral here this this piece actually has four there's one here one here and let's see where was the other one at oh yeah one big one here coming down through there and then there's one on the back coming straight up out of it This stuff's pretty crumbly. I didn't really scrub this stuff up here. This is just a couple plates that we took. Just falls apart so easy. But these coral, they cleaned up real nice. And of course, a couple little stems here. Just not sure. I have no idea what this one is. I, I'm not sure if any of that stuff's rare or I don't know. But we kind of just pick up what we like and some of the better specimens. That thing's pretty big. See, I'm trying to think. Oh, yeah, this was the one I found just laying there. Really nice specimen. And then I'm not sure what this is, but my wife said it's kind of shaped like a heart. I don't know what that is. It's kind of a reddish. I, I don't know. That's definitely a cool piece. So anyway, St. Leon, Indiana, by far our best haul of fossils. And uh, we'll definitely be going back sometimes. It's about three hours away.